I took an aquatic toxicology course years ago at UNT, and um, I had a great professor who talked about the same phrase over and over again, the dose makes the poison. And what that means is that no matter what chemical is in the water, no matter what pill you take in your body, it can harm you in a certain dose, in a certain dosage amount. And um, the more you take of it, the more it can harm your body. It makes sense, but a lot of people don't think about that. And every single organism is completely different and susceptible to a different dose. So let's take drugs, for example. A certain drug, it, legal or non-legal, can affect one person totally different than another person. And I think that that's the concern about, let's say, those pill parties that everybody has nowadays um, in high school and college. You just take whatever pill you want to. Well, one pill and another pill can combine and make a completely different kind of reaction in the body. And it can also be poisonous. Uh, too many ibuprofen can be poisonous and it can kill your liver. So um, environmental wise too, to me I feel like this is our environment and this is the most important environment to take care of. But let's talk with water. If you um, have a chemical in the water and even a small amount can harm you or it can be a higher dosage. Um, we urinate women who take birth control urinate out the rest of their estrogen every day in the toilet and the wastewater then goes to the wastewater treatment plant and hormones don't get taken out of there. Then it eventually goes into lake systems and it harms lots of fish, fish reproduction, it hurts um, clams and all different kinds of aquatic organisms in the water. Um, they've been doing lots of studies with that and unfortunately um, when it goes to the waste, the drinking plants for us to drink, um, then hormones don't get taken out either. So sadly, we are slowly drinking hormones that people have urinated over a long period of time. Um, and they, even in small amounts, this can affect reproductive concerns. And if you wanna watch a good video, you can watch something called Hormone Imposters, and it talks about how plastics also release hormones into the environment as well as humans. So um, these are just some concerns I wanted to let you know about.